In this episode of New York Next, we visit wellness tech company Higher Dose, where its co-founder gives us the scoop on the $5.6 trillion health industry. She tells us how she went from model to CEO, the craziest things people are doing for their health, one of them involves tree frog poison, and why celebrities like Bella Hadid and Leonardo DiCaprio are obsessed with their products. Higher Dose is a New York-based wellness brand that focuses on infrared, PEMF, and red light therapy. It's expanded into retail, offering in-home technology. I want to start with talking about you and your career, because you have a super interesting trajectory. You were a model, you did TV, and then you got into the wellness technology space. Yeah, started in the fashion industry when I was 16, traveled the world. I feel like I learned most of my skills on you know, how to talk to people, how to survive, learning from other cultures. I knew I was an entrepreneur even when I was a model. You know, traveling around the world, I've literally done every type of sauna you can imagine, and then coming to New York, you couldn't find a good sauna if your life depended on it. It sounds like there was really only one sauna. You discovered it after you came back from your travels. Yeah, I was like, wait, what is this? It's a light therapy that releases happy chemicals that makes your skin amazing and you can sleep good and, you know, too good to be true. So I went and tried the only one that existed in New York City at the time, tried it, like was blown away and just knew that every New Yorker needed to be doing infrared sauna and that's how we started Higher Dose. Why do you think people have been so eager to adopt this technology and why has it happened so quickly? I think it's because with infrared and red light, you literally feel and see the difference within one session. And a lot of things in wellness, it's a little bit like woo woo, like take six months, like, you know, someone said it's good for me, but do I actually feel a difference? Whereas when you go into the infrared sauna, you come out a different person. For me, I think that that's what made it take off so quickly. It seems like there's been a lot of celebrity support as well. Just tell me about the celebrities who've liked it and promoted it and if that's been instrumental to marketing. We didn't have the money to like pay a celebrity a ton of money to promote our products which in a way has been a blessing because it's built this like cult-like following that really just love the brand. We joked that we never needed to do any marketing. Everyone would come in and take a sexy sauna selfie in the sauna and then it just went viral. And people didn't even care that it was infrared. They just knew that they felt amazing afterwards and it like wiped away all their sins from the night before and that was all they needed to know. We had Kate Winslet, we had um, Leonardo DiCaprio back in the day, we had Jonah Hill. Honestly, the list goes on when it comes to celebrities and that is not something you can pay for. So this is a full spectrum sauna, which is near, mid, and far technology. The near and the mid are in the front. That's why they're glowing red. These are amazing for skin, working on the epidermis of the skin, building collagen. These are the far infrared. This is more notoriously what people know infrared saunas to do, which is more detoxing, more downing cortisol levels, putting your body into parasympathetic state. Sweating. Sweating. <laughs> Vibrating those water molecules, <laughs> pulling out that radiation, heavy metals, and environmental pollutants out of your fat cells. Okay, what are the craziest things that people are doing for their health right now? One thing is putting tree frog poison on an open wound. Your face swells up like a frog and then you throw up and you're supposed to purge all the toxins that are in your body. And then another one is all these crazy biohackers are having these ozone machines at home and then they're self-administrating like ozone in your butt. It's supposed to kill any like viral, bacterial, candida, anything like that, but you do have to be careful. A lot of these things should be administered with a doctor, but that's kind of the thing. It's like, how far can you take it, right? How good can we feel? So this is our sauna blanket. This is our take home version of our infrared sauna. Not everyone has the space for it or can afford it. So you just go in, slide yourself down, get nice and comfy, lay down. I feel like I'm in a sleepover. Yeah. I mean, it's not the most attractive products that we have, but you know, it speeds up your heart rate to the pace of a light jog. It Vibrates oh, wow. water molecules, pulls out heavy metals like environmental pollutants, radiation, and toxins out of your fat cells. Wow. It's going to release endorphins. It's going to release dopamine. It's going to release all these feel-good, happy chemicals. So it's like a workout without working out. Amazing. Yeah. Biohacking is, you know, unfortunately very male-dominated. A lot of men are in the space. A lot of men are like leading the charge there, and there's a lot of problems with that because women have different hormones and biology and we need to consider things very differently and women have been left out of research and science and that's not taken into consideration. So when you learn about something, it might be good for a man, but might not be better for a woman, which is again, like as a woman biohacker, that's why tapping into your intuition and listening to your body and telling you what's work is the only way because we have been left out of research and science. 